The latest data is a game changer for semaglutide, Ozempic, and Wagovi users. The select trial showed Wagovi doesn't just help with weight loss. It slashes major cardiovascular events by 17%, cuts diabetes risk by an incredible 73%, and reduces kidney complications by 22%. Imagine a medication that not only helps you lose weight, but also protects your heart, prevents diabetes, and supports kidney health. These findings reveal just how powerful GLP ones like Wagovi can be. You don't want to miss this. Today, we'll look at one of the presentations Novo Nordisk delivered at Obesity Week 2020. Giant Novo Nordisk inventor and owner and manufacturer of semaglutide, which of course they sell as Ozempic for type 2 diabetes and Wagovi for treating the disease of obesity, was a significant contributor at this event sharing insights from more than a dozen presentations and posters. Their work showcased the latest research innovations and the future direction of obesity treatment. Welcome back to The Downsized. I'm Christopher Durham, here to keep you in the loop with the latest on GLP-1s and obesity treatments. If you're new to our channel, let me take a moment to share a bit of our story. My wife Lorraine and I have been on this GLP-1 adventure together for over a year now. Since I started using GLP-1s in September of 2023, I've lost 81 pounds. And together, Lorraine and I have shed a combined 130 pounds thanks to these medications. We've taken compounded terzepatide, Manjaro, and Zepbound. It's been a life-changing experience for us, and we're excited to share everything we've learned. Here's a quick intro to Obesity Week. This top international conference held November 2nd through the 6th in San Antonio, Texas, is run by the Obesity Society, or the TOS. Since 1982, TOS has been leading the way in obesity science treatment and prevention. With about 2,800 members worldwide, Obesity Week brings together everyone from new researchers to seasoned experts, covering everything from lifestyle changes to the latest medical and surgical treatments for obesity. Those interested in catching up on the latest insights from Obesity Week 2024 can buy access to all the presentations through Obesity Week On Demand. Novo Nordisk has included posters and presentations on its site as well. I'll include links to both in the description if you want to go check them out. We're not sponsored by the Obesity Society, Obesity Week, or Nova Nordisk. It's just great resources if you'd like to take a look at them. Before we get into the details, just a quick reminder, I am not a doctor, lawyer, scientist, or pharmacist. I'm a husband, dad, cook, and a guy who has spent the last year losing weight on GLP-1s. I'm a fat guy trying not to be a fat guy. The content is based off of Lorraine and my personal experiences, our research, and talking to so many of you in our community. Always consult a healthcare professional for advice tailored to your health needs. As part of our Obesity Week conference coverage, we've explored exciting innovations from Viking Therapeutics and AstraZeneca. Make sure to check those videos out as well. But you have to stop because it's a four-day event. So how exactly do you start covering a four-day medical and scientific conference on obesity? I'm not a doctor, not a scientist. I've watched not all, but most of these presentations online on demand. And some of it is really dense. It's really intense. If you really want to dive into the science of what's going on in obesity medicine, this is the place to be. And you can go you know, spend a couple hundred bucks and get a pass to watch it all if you'd like to. For me, this journey is very personal. I'm always on the lookout for ways to keep losing weight, find affordable medications, and ensure that they're consistently available. So I'm thrilled to learn about the latest research and innovations that could help me, help you, help Lorraine, help the entire community lose weight and maintain it over time. My goal is to spotlight the presentations that can make the biggest impact on our community and provide practical ways to help us reach weight loss and our health goals. The presentation we'll be discussing today is from the Select Cardiovascular Outcome Trial, Old Lessons and New Learning, shared by a team of experts, including Dr. Donna Ryan, Dr. Robert Kushner, Dr. A. Michael Linkoff, Dr. Ildiko Lingve, and Dr. George Plitsky. This session highlighted how semaglutide benefits beyond weight loss impact cardiovascular health and other critical areas for those of us managing the disease of obesity. Cardiovascular health is a topic that hits close to home for me and is deeply tied to my own journey with obesity. I've been on blood pressure and cholesterol medication for the past 20 years, and people often ask me why I'm so committed to, to doing this YouTube channel. You know, what was your why? Why did you do this? 
Well, the truth is I carry a real fear of the health risks that come with obesity, especially after seeing them firsthand. So if you've stopped and asked yourself, what are the long-term effects of these medications? Well, they are not nearly as certain as the long-term effects of obesity. I know what's going to happen if I remain 80, 100 pounds overweight. I'm going to die, and I'm terrified of it. And I've seen it, as I said, firsthand. This is my mom, Debbie Durham. She passed away almost 20 years ago from heart-related issues tied to her obesity, from cardiac problems. She was only a few years older than I am today. Her story is my constant reminder of why I'm doing this, why I'm sharing this journey with you, and why these advancements in treating obesity matter so much. So if you take a look at this picture, I mean, my mom was amazing. That's my oldest daughter there, Olivia, and my grandmother, who's since passed as well. So it's very, very real. For me, it's about making sure that I'm here for my loved ones and living a healthier, longer life. My mom was the best person I've ever known. She was a mother. She was a nana. She was a social worker. She had eight kids. She became an art therapist for kids. Every day, I strive to be what she was. So this is real. This is why this presentation matters. The SELECT trial is a massive global study with over 17,000 participants who had obesity and a high risk for heart disease, but no history of diabetes. Participants were randomly assigned to take either semaglutide, 2.4 milligrams weekly, or a placebo, and the study followed them for an average of 40 months, nearly four years. The results were clear. Semaglutide reduced the risk of major cardiovascular events by 17%. For those of us taking GLP-1s, this goes beyond just weight loss. It's evidence that our medication may actively be protecting our hearts. That's a powerful finding, and it shows that GLP-1s like semaglutide are much more than just weight loss tools. They're potentially life-saving. Historically, obesity medications haven't always had a great track record when it comes to heart health. Trials like SCOUT with Cibitramine and Crescendo with Remnibant even found negative cardiovascular outcomes. SELECT marks a shift in this narrative. For the very first time, a GLP-1 medication not only reduced cardiovascular risk, but did so with a rigorous long-term safety profile. This sets a whole new standard and validates GLP-1s as heart-friendly options for those managing obesity. For those of us on this adventure, knowing that our medication could help reduce heart-related risks is huge. I cannot underscore it enough. It's huge. SELECT is not just another study. It's a landmark that changes how the medical community views GLP-1 medications like semaglutide. According to Dr. Ryan, SELECT positions semaglutide as a treatment that can actively prevent further heart complications in people with obesity. This is groundbreaking because for a long time, the primary focus has been on weight loss. SELECT shows that semaglutide is also tackling cardiovascular risk head-on, legitimizing it as a tool for modifying the course of heart disease, not just managing symptoms. This isn't just about dropping pounds. It's about a more comprehensive health benefit beyond weight loss. Safety is crucial, especially with medications we might be on long-term. SELECT's safety profile for semaglutide is robust, Dr. Robert Kushner explained that fewer people in the semaglutide group experienced major cardiovascular-related adverse events than the placebo group. This means semaglutide wasn't just effective, but safe over nearly four years of observation. For those of us taking GLP-1s, this offers real peace of mind. We can feel more confident that semaglutide can deliver significant benefits without introducing additional risks. SELECT revealed more than just cardiovascular benefits. It also highlighted how semaglutide can impact diabetes risk. Participants on semaglutide saw a 73% reduction in their risk of progressing to diabetes. Think about that, a 73% reduction. 
this matters immensely for those of us with obesity who are often at a high risk of developing diabetes. This isn't just about losing weight. It's about potentially preventing a whole other chronic condition. That's life changing, especially for those of us on the fence on whether we should be taking these medications or not. These medications can stop or slow type two diabetes. It's amazing. In another exciting part of the presentation, Dr. George Bletsky discussed how semaglutide affected inflammation, a key driver of heart disease. One of the markers they looked at was HSCRP, a blood test that predicts cardiovascular risk. Semaglutide significantly reduced HSCRP levels by 38% over 104 weeks. And what's fascinating is that these reductions happened early in the treatment, even before most of the weight loss occurred. So even if you're not seeing the pounds fall off immediately, semaglutide could still work in the background, reducing inflammation and supporting cardiovascular health. Select also explored semaglutide's impact on kidney health, which is crucial for anyone with obesity or cardiovascular concerns. The trial found that semaglutide reduced the risk of certain kidney complications by 22%. For those of us on GLP-1s, it's reassuring to know that this medication may help protect not just your heart, but also your kidneys over the long term. This isn't just a one-trick drug. It's tackling multiple health risks, and we've seen that over and over again. One of the more remarkable aspects of SELECT is how it repositions semaglutide as a tool for secondary prevention. This means it's not only helping to prevent initial heart issues, but also reducing the risk of recurring problems in those who already have cardiovascular disease. For GLP-1 users, this could redefine what we expect from our treatment. No longer just a weight loss aid, but a comprehensive approach to managing our long-term health. Select's data also showed reduced rates of all-cause mortality, meaning that people on semaglutide in this study lived longer, healthier lives. Let me repeat that. People lived longer, healthier lives. It's simply startling. The data is conclusive. This can help us live longer, healthier lives. As the GLP-1 story continues, one thing is clear. These new therapies are reshaping not only how obesity is treated, but how it's understood as a chronic illness with roots in biology, not a simple failure of willpower. And that may have as much impact on us as any drug. So to wrap it all up, five key takeaways. What does this all mean for us as GLP-1 users? It's a lot of data, but what does it mean for me, for my mom, for my dad, for my kids, for my friends? What does it mean? Well, here are the five big takeaways from this select trial that can impact our health. Number one, it can and will reduce cardiovascular risk. The select trial showed that semaglutide reduced major cardiovascular events by 17%, highlighting that GLP-1 medications can actively protect our heart health. Number two, potential for diabetes prevention. For those of us at risk, this is huge. The trial found that 73% reduction in the risk of progressing to type 2 diabetes for participants on semaglutide. This means that GLP-1s aren't just for weight management. They may also play a significant role in preventing type 2 diabetes. Number three, they have a broad safety profile. Select confirmed semaglutide safety over nearly four years with fewer cardiovascular-related adverse events in the semaglutide group compared to placebo. This long-term safety profile offers us peace of mind about staying on GLP-1s. Number four, reduction in inflammation and kidney protection. The trial showed that semaglutide significantly reduced inflammation markers and decreased the risk of kidney complications by 22. This means beyond weight loss, GLP-1s will offer additional health benefits for our kidneys and overall inflammation, which is huge, as many of us know. And number five, it, they have extended benefits beyond weight loss. Select has redefined semaglutide as a comprehensive treatment option, not only for weight loss, but also a secondary prevention of heart issues and even all-cause mortality. For GLP-1 users, this means our treatment can support a healthier, longer life by tackling multiple health risks beyond just weight. The SELECT trial is a powerful reminder that GLP-1s like semaglutide are multifaceted tools in our fight against the disease of obesity. They offer benefits that extend far beyond the scale. These medications aren't just about weight loss, 
about protecting our hearts, preventing diabetes, supporting kidney health, reducing inflammation, and ultimately living longer. The research is clear. These are amazing medications. These are medications that should be affordable and accessible for everyone everywhere. We must fight the good fight to make sure that they can be. Thank you for joining me to unpack this important study. Remember to like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest GLP-1 news and insights, not to mention Lorraine and my GLP-1 adventure. We love seeing you. We love having you be a part of the community. I'm Christopher Durham, and we are The Downsized. Peace of the